Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Dietag, CTO of DVS, and before we go any further, please hit that subscribe and that bell button to be notified of all our weekly content. You know it makes sense. All of the stuff we publish really does help you choose the product, the new stuff we're selling, etc. So do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. So anyway, what are we going to talk about today? Something that I feel very passionate about, so apologies if I'm going to come across as almost arrogant, but I'm going to come across like that because I'm so passionate about this subject. And that subject is, I'm just going to get the little tool to help me if you haven't seen it already, SD cards. These are just SanDisk normal 32 gigabyte, 64 and 128 we also do in stock at DVS. These are the SanDisk Ultra. Other brands are available and they are compatible with the Hike Vision product. Why do I want to talk about SD cards? Because me personally, I think it's super beneficial to you and your customer if you offer them an SD card in a critical camera location. So let's take this camera behind me for a perfect example. So this would be, yes, is my demo room. It's not that critical unless you're me and it's super critical. This could be a very typical entrance, exit, fire door, secure area. Anywhere there's a critical camera that is recorded on an NVR, in my opinion, for the simple low cost of an SD card, I would be offering this to my customer, even if you wrap it up in the service and maintenance cost and you don't offer it as an outright item. Up to you how you do it. Many of you do different things. This could save so much aggravation and pain. And the reason being is we've all been there where cameras go offline. The network goes down, the power goes off at the NVR location, especially if you've got a large system with a centralized recorder like a 9.6 series where you're not connecting the power to the PoE of the NVR. So you've got switches out on the site, all the IP cameras connected back to that over the infrastructure backbone that come back to a centralized recording location. What happens if the NVR goes off? And it does happen. Maybe they're doing maintenance on the rack. Maybe you're just unlucky and they have to turn the power off to that circuit. There's no UPS on there and your recording solution goes down. Maybe the network link goes down between the recorder and the cameras in the field in the outlying switches. You lose all your recording, let's be brutally honest. If you, that happens, and it's always when an incident happens, your recording will be lost and there isn't anything you can do. Now, why not offer this to the customer to save embarrassment to them? It can save potential um, like litigation, mitigation, etc. because the footage can still be saved onto a simple SD card, very low cost. If you don't buy them from DVS, of course we want you to buy the sand discs from DVS, but there are other SD cards that are compatible and supported by the cameras even if the customer supplies them. It is definitely worth fitting for the simple cost of like, let's small pocket change for a 32 gigabyte SD card, let's talk per camera in a critical camera location, it's pennies, let's be brutally honest. All you need to do is take the SD card, fit that into the camera here. It's very simple, micro SD card. Most cameras support up to 128 or 256 gigabyte. So a massive storage. And even the latest cameras that we have coming out actually can support up to a one terabyte uh, SSD in the camera, but we'll talk about that in another video. So get your SD card, fit it inside the camera. You simply enter the web programming of that camera. And all you do through the aid of this is set it is a 24 hour recording storage schedule. So you set that blue 24 seven for the local storage of the SD card on that local camera. What that means, what that means, apologies, is that camera will be recording 24 seven as long as it's powered, regardless of what this recorder is doing here. You can set it for event or motion, but in my opinion, you set it for 24 seven recording. What happens if the recorder goes down or the link between the camera and the recorder goes down or the power goes off? Or more importantly, we've all seen it where on a recording solution, especially a smaller site where they're connected to a PoE of an NVR, um, they can come in and damage the NVR and steal the NVR. So they break into the premises, they find where the location is, they turn it off, they bash it up, they steal it they try to set it on fire, whatever they do to stop you getting access to that recording, because obviously that recording may give you the evidence you need to get the conviction or to find out who has done that. That's fine. 
well, it's not fine, but if that happens, if you have an SD card in the camera itself, all you need to do then is web browse into that camera. So the customer calls you, they're in the right state, you web browse into that camera and you download the footage that is saved on that camera, even if it's powered from a PoE NVR, until they steal that NVR, that camera is still working, which means there's gonna be vital footage there, which may be the evidence that you need as I've already explained. So you simply download the footage and use it in any way that you would from a centralized location. The other benefit of using an SD card in a camera, let's say a hard drive goes down in an NVR. Even with the best hard drives that we can offer, that can happen. It may be you're doing a firmware upgrade, it may be you're doing a maintenance or moving the recorder, whatever that looks like. Let's say the recorder goes offline or the storage goes offline for a very legitimate reason, and that does happen. All you need to do is web browse into the recording solution. So we've taken our SD cards and we fitted them into the critical camera locations. And again, critical, you don't need to put it on every camera to cover every location. You can, perfect. But I would say for the critical camera locations that you and the customer have identified for the small cost of this is all you need to do rather than every camera. All you need to do to enable this function is called ANR, Automatic Network Refresh very, very useful. We've talked about it in another video, is you web browse into the recording solution here. Apologies, it's gonna get a bit rough and ready. You web browse into the recording solution, as we've got in here. You've got your camera choice there. There is an advanced tab on here. Can't be done on the recorder GUI here, maybe in the future, but again, web browse into it under the advanced, and you can see here, there is an option called Enable ANR. All I need to do is enable it, click OK. That function is now readily available and done. So what does that mean? I've put the camera right, sorry guys. So the SD card's fitted here. You've recorded, enabled that for 24 seven recording, simple terms. You've enabled ANR on the recording platform itself through the web browser of the NVR and you've saved it. If this camera goes offline for any reason, it's recording, and as long as it's powered, of course, it's recording to the local SD card continually, which I've already explained how beneficial that is. When the network is re-established between the camera and the recorder, it will back up the footage between the recorder and the NVR that was missing. Now it does it as a one-to-one -one speed, so if there's hours and hours of footage, it could take hours and hours to back that back up. But as long as the network is stable, the camera comes back online, that footage will be refreshed from the camera, it'll be drawn down from the camera, it will still remain on the camera, but it will also go back to the NVR, so from a front-end client perspective, the gaps in the footage will be re-established, normality is resumed. Now, how beneficial is that? So not only have you got the camera footage securely located in the camera for the worst case scenario, it does happen, we've seen it, massive, massive benefit to using SD cards. That's why I'm passionate about this video. It is so beneficial. The amount of customers I speak to on a daily basis that absolutely regret not having that or taking that step because the footage they needed was on the recorder that is now damaged, removed, stolen, broken, whatever. Definitely employ you to look at this as a solution. Very small cost, massive benefit. But again, from the ANR function, if you want to back it up, enable that function, it will then slowly back it back up to the NVR so that mi missing footage will be recovered and the gaps will be filled. That's all I wanted to speak about today. Yes, it's been passionate. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you have any questions, get in contact with DVS through the contact at dvs.co.uk website or through your trusted sales rep or drop me a message, no problem. If you've got any suggestions for any video content or anything you want explained or talked about, please do get in touch. We're happy to be taken down a journey that you want us to go on. That's the reason we want you to subscribe, sub subscribe, not describe, subscribe, because you are part of that journey. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next week for another how-to video. This is Ditech, over and out.